The basic concept of 30 Days of Opera is pretty simple. Every day in the month of September, Opera Memphis will perform somewhere in the city, in the tri-state area, somewhere we will put on a free performance. Sometimes that performance is for a dozen kids and a couple of librarians at a library in some neighborhood in Memphis. Sometimes it's for thousands of people at the Levitt Shell. Sometimes it's for everybody that we walk by trolley night or at the Cooper Young Festival or some other big outdoor event that we might have. Every performance is different. Every one of them is a different attempt to engage engage a different part of the city, a different part of the population, to reach as many people as we possibly can reach. Uh, you know, nothing is better. <laughs> Much to our surprise and delight, we started noticing things on Twitter, and we realized that we were probably onto something, and we also realized that we probably could use social media to not only help spread the word about it, but to help track it. So we made a bunch of signs that had hashtag 30 days of opera and we started carrying those around to every event and showing them so that we would encourage people to tweet about us, to post on Facebook, and then we could start that conversation. In year two, thanks to a very generous grant from Opera America and the Ann and Gordon Getty Foundation, we were able to really start getting the kind of data that we needed to build this roadway that would lead people to the opera house. This is my be my first year going to the opera for, for as a season subscriber. Fantastic. Had you been before just for a single show? Yes. All right. What made you decide to finally subscribe? Uh, performances like this for one thing. That her, that performance, I don't know what she was singing about, but it made me cry. All right. I was at Levishell working one night uh, last year sometime, and I happened to experience a show of well, with Opera of Memphis, something that I had never been exposed to in my life. Just listening to and watching them perform was really amazing to me. Um, I, I was just so am amazed that I could hardly do my job as security supervisor. Also, since I've been exposed to opera, I I've been taking piano lessons at Southwest Community College and, and just watching the, the pianist of Opera of Memphis play the different tunes and notes has really inspired me to want to play the piano a lot more and, and that's just something that if you've never been exposed to opera you need to go. Memphis admires and respects and is grateful for what we call grit and grind. This idea that you keep working at it and there was something about 30 days every single day we would go out and do this and we knew that that would capture some part of our city's imagination. When you can take what you love and share it with somebody else and inspire them to explore their love of music, there is absolutely nothing better in the world. And that That's is the kind so of fuel that keeps everybody here going through all those 30 days without a day off. I am so excited to not only be able to see it in person, but to realize you don't have superhuman strength. You look like normal, everyday people, but beautiful voices, and we just applaud you for doing what you're doing. I really appreciate y'all doing this. Oh, sure, the kids, absolutely. Because I also go to operas all the time, but with the kids, it's hard to take them. Yeah. That's right. So this gives them an opportunity to kind of get yeah. in there and see what opera's about. A lot of my favorite moments from 30 Days of Opera are seeing kids hear opera for the first time. There are thousands, thousands, thousands of people who have had a seed planted. That seed might not bear fruit for five years, 10 years, 25 years. Maybe they'll go to college somewhere else and while they're in college, some friend of theirs in the music school will say, hey, come see me in an opera. And they'll remember that, oh right, when I was at that library that time, there were those opera singers. I think we will know that we have succeeded when people stop talking about 30 days of opera as a way to bring the opera to the people. Opera already belongs to the people, and the idea behind 30 days of opera is, okay, let's go to them and give them a sample, a taste of what we do, and say, we want you with us. We want you to come and hear the whole thing, see the full thing, because we love it, we think you might too.